Hello there, folks. Rob Hamont here from robshealthcrunch.com. Today I wanted to speak a little bit about health, nutrition, fitness, and wellness being the primary three things. Now, sadly, most of the people in the world completely overcomplicate or don't understand what health is all about and how to achieve optimal fitness easily because they are misinformed. You know, it's just the general thing. At the moment we have a new thing in America called Make America Healthy Again by, by Robert Jr., uh, Kennedy Jr. He understands the whole problem of uh, the big food, big food and pharma companies who produce nasty foods and, and, and pump you full of chemicals for medications. That everything together makes you sick. So that's the number one problem. And if you, if you want to get fit, slim, lean, like I am, I mean, I'm not big and bulky and I don't want to be, I'm not a bodybuilder. You gotta, you gotta eat well. If you, if you don't eat well, properly, with the right nutrition that the body requires, then you cannot ever really become healthy in the inside or the outside. And you'll also never lose weight if you are overweight. I mean, I see so many people talking about and coming in and out of gyms particularly, well, both women and men. And they all seem to think that going to the gym is the be and all and be and end all, if you know what I mean. I can't remember the saying. It's not. Going to the gym or the gym training recommendations is basically a pure marketing plan for the gyms and the personal trainers. Training every day whether that's strength training, cardio, whatever, running, is not gonna help you lose the necessary weight that you want to, as long as you keep eating the wrong stuff. Now, what is the wrong stuff? Let's start there. I'll try to keep this as short as possible and educational as possible, but I wanna get you to understand the basics. You have to eat the proper food, which is called, we call the proper human diet, or the, 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 the proper diet for humans. And that is basically what we are made of. And that is water, protein, and fat. Okay, now, 95% of the people in the world primarily eat carbohydrate-based foods full of sugar. That's a problem, because carbohydrates, everyone thinks you need carbohydrates to, to, for fuel and uh, energy to function and, and, and burn and you know, to, to, to live. That's just not true. Carbohydrates are all grain-based, mostly. You've got plants, vegetables, which also contain a level of carbohydrates, so that's not great either, eating too many plants, which is why the plant-based diet is not good, because they vegans eat tons and tons of grains and, and vegetables, legumes, which are high in carbohydrate and sugar. Carbohydrates turn to glucose in the bloodstream. So if, if you're eating bread, if you're eating, if you're eating, um, all kinds of pastries, for example, that can be made of flour and sugar added. There's absolutely no nutritional value in those things, as there isn't in cereal either, for example. The only, the only food that carries really good, sustainable, ongoing nutritional values that the body needs is meat. Meat, fish, sea seafood, and eggs, and animal fats, such as butter, lard, or coconut oil, for example, cheese, uh, heavy whipping cream, Greek yogurt, high fat Greek yogurt, things like that, and uh, some nuts, not too many, because they, they all they contain fat, but they also contain carbohydrates. So what I do, and I've been doing for nine years almost now, and millions of other of my colleagues too, who are both uh, either nutritionists or, or follow this lifestyle, the keto carnivore lifestyle, uh, are super healthy, have lost all the excess weight, are lean, not bulky like most bodybuilders are they're, they're not not lean they're just bulky and big but they still got plenty of fat underneath their skin and with me you can see it's just it's just skin and, and muscle no no fat so if you're not willing to change your diet to get, cut out completely all carbohydrates especially grains noodles rice bread pasta pizza burger buns you know all of those things, pot noodles, 
all those things are absolutely devastating to your health because they, they turn into sugar in your bloodstream and that just makes you ongoingly add weight because you can't burn off the, can the, 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 the sugar that's in your bloodstream. That in turn then leads to your pancreas having to overproduce insulin to remove the, the toxic sugar, glucose, from your bloodstream because it can't stay in there, so it's toxic. Now, the insulin pushes it out into your, into your fat cells, which are called triglycerides, and that's, it stays locked in there, and that's where you get increasingly bigger, heavier and fatter. And it gets more and more difficult to, to, to work away, and you can't burn that off by training, you just can't. If you do, you overtrain and you overtrain and you hurt your heart. Overtraining causes heart disease, and heart disease leads to heart attacks or strokes, and there's been multiple, multiple, multiple well, hundreds of cases of young deaths. Just last week, an Australian bodybuilder died at 30 of overtraining. Super, super strong fit, but he died of a heart attack. Last year in, 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 in uh, Thailand, uh, a German guy at the age of 30 died of a mass, massive brain ambulism because of the, of the overtraining. You know, they eat whatever they want, but they train so crazy that that's what happens. And there's thousands and thousands of other cases that you don't hear about. So, I mean, I understand that it's, it's a cultural thing, particularly rice and, and noodles in, in the Asian countries, but in you know in, in the West it's the same bread or, or potatoes or pastas and rice is also eaten frequently and all the time, as well as everything made with sh sugar, the cakes, desserts, cookies and, and candies and chocolate bars and so on. So we've we've been led down this garden path of misconception, mis mis uh, leading information, where we're, we're just told to eat these terrible things that the big food companies produce. Now, if you go into any supermarket, you'll see that 85 to 90 percent of the market is is just full of those highly processed foods, which which have added seed oil to them. Now, seed oils are either sunflower oil, canola oil, palm oil, or um, uh, what's it called, tofu tofu oil. I forget what, what the name is, but whatever. Those are all toxic because they they they're highly um, processed. They've added chemicals. They burn at a low temperature, but they're used for high temperature cooking. So what does that mean? As soon as you, you, you cook any type of food in these seed oils, which 95% or 98% of the foods are cooked in here, everywhere in the world, uh, the oil is burnt. So you're, you're eating burnt food. Even though it doesn't taste burnt, but it's been, it's been tarnished by this rancid cooking oil. So, it's vital, and that also causes internal inflammation, as do, does carbohydrates or sugar. That means you're gonna have water retention, swelling around your organs, your gut, which leads to bloating, and which leads to overall swelling, and that, that situation, that uh, situation that you find yourself in, leads to your immune system becoming weaker and weaker and breaking down, and that's why people frequently get sick with uh, the colds, sinus infections, headaches, uh, feeling constantly tired, and so on and so on. It's an ongoing vicious circle, and it doesn't end until you stop eating the right food. Then, that's just simply the fact, bare bones fact truth. You do not need to eat anything other than meat, fish, seafood, eggs, animal fats, and a few other products that are natural. And once you do that for a month, four, five, six weeks, your body adjusts and becomes a keto fat burner. You don't need any 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 uh, carbohydrates, glucose, sugar, to have energy to, to function. No, because you burn your the fat that you're consuming, which is burnt off quickly and naturally, and you also burn your, all your internal fat cells, because we're made of protein, fat, and water. Simple. So many people argue with me that you know, no, 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 that's just wrong. It's, it's damaging for your your kidneys and this and that and all. This is rubbish. I've got the best blood value you can imagine now for, for eight, nine years. I had a stroke back then in 2016, 17, and I was 36 kilos overweight. And I was sick as a dog on 10 medications, always sick, always into the doctors, you know? And then I, I just, once I had the stroke, I realized something's wrong. I got to change this. So I did, I studied nutrition, I became a, an expert, and I've been leading my life that way ever since. Now, quickly to the training side of things. You do not need to go to the gym. You can train your body healthily and easily it's by saving time by doing simple little things if you walk every day aim for 10,000 steps two to three walks a day or one longer one or whatever fast-paced you'll burn off a ton of fat calories and you will 
strength for your, 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 your legs and it does great things for your head. It makes your, gives you mental clarity and it makes you feel happy. On top of that, all you need to do is some, some body, uh, body weight training, strength training. You don't need to go to a gym. I do everything outside. I do push-ups, planks, lunges, squats, uh, headstands, handstands against the wall or free. That's all I do, two to three times a week, maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes each, sometimes just once a week. And then I add on sprinting. Sprinting in a pool is great because it's great for the, the joints. You can't hurt yourself. Sprinting on the flat is okay as long as it's soft. And uh, sprinting upstairs or, or hill is all right too because it's not too heavy on the joints. So sprint once a week, do a little bit of body weight strength training, calisthenics, and walk a lot. And bike. And swim, naturally. That's all. That's all you need to do. I spend about maybe two hours maximum a week on my fitness training besides the walking because I walk at least 45 to an hour, minutes to an hour a day, if not more. Because I see it as it's a, it's a hobby, it's a habit, it's become a hobby. I go in the morning, I go at lunchtime, and I, then I, and I go in the evening again, which is more of a relaxed walk because it's just more meditative, which is good for the, well, the wellness side of things. So, and also fasting, very important. Don't eat three, four times a day. Don't eat snacks. Don't eat things in the middle of, of, of meals. You're constantly eating because you're always getting hungry because the, the, the junk that you're eating, the carbohydrates burn off quickly, and then you're hungry again. I eat one meal a day usually around two, three o'clock. It's, it's fully protein and fat, lots of eggs, like four, five, six eggs. They had an eight egg omelets with cheese and cream, onions and, and, and hot chilies, very healthy because they're full of vitamin C and antioxidants. And that's it. I won't eat again until tomorrow because fasting lets the body regenerate healthy cells. And the less you put in the body, the less it, uh, stress the body has to, and it can recover better and build healthier regenerative cells. And that's it. All right, that's a, a roundup, roundup a summary of all you need to know to regain full optimal health, get fit, lose all the fat, and be healthy forever. And you stay younger that way too, younger, strong, and fit, like me. That's it. Have a good one. Speak to you soon.